And welcome back to Lantern Corps. Today's Lantern Corps video comes to us from Sheridan Road in Noble Chief. Who asked the question, what is Kuwabara's Lantern Corps? Um, Kuwabara actually kind of is, is pretty easy to break down. I only could really justify two Lantern Corps for him. So let's get it out of the way. He has not been eternally happy his whole life. He's had a lot of moments of despair of anger, all that. So gold is right out. I really don't think he's ever really been ashamed of himself. I mean, when he's maybe he hasn't been able to help out individuals, like when he lost his abilities temporarily, sure, but I don't think shame works. Even though he is living and has spiritual powers, white is just not really... A, a, I don't think there's really anyone in um, Yu Yu Hakusho, save maybe Kawimba, who represents a white lantern very well, because everyone else takes lives, be it demon or otherwise. So the, take that for what it's worth. And Korvar actually has not died. He's never died. So he isn't he can't be a black lantern. So that's all the uh, the extra lanterns out of the way. In terms of the core seven, Blue doesn't really... I mean, he, the hope has been put on his shoulders a few times. Especially in, like, the uh, the Dark Tournament. But I don't see him being a representative of Blue very well. Uh, because, let's be honest, most people just po uh, or give him the shit. It's not or give him the shit. Um, poke uh, a lot of fun at him and give him shit rather than have faith in him. Uh, he's not very greedy. So, uh, as far as we can tell, he's not a greedy or avarice individual. So avarice doesn't work. He's also too young and punky to really have compassion as one of his... Um, as his strongest attribute, because he's not devoid of it. It's just he's he's raised a uh, grew up as a street punk. So that leaves us with our remaining four. This is where we start to see a few of the things show up. One of the obvious ones, again, is green, overcoming great fear, willpower. That's the whole mo of the Green Lanterns. And Corbar definitely could uh, represent that. What I don't think he represents is fear. Corbar is not someone who was just you know when he shows up. People are scared to death of him. Yosuke could be a fear lantern. Hie, Kurama, Tagoro, Genkai. Kuwabara has never been really someone who is intimidating. He does stuff that he does. He's done things that scares people, but he himself is not a representative of inspiring great fear. What Jesus were our last two? Rage and love. Of those two. The one that honestly makes the most sense, especially when he refers to himself as such, is the warrior of love, Kuwabara. Because <laughs> um, rage, Kuwabara has been angry, sure, but it's more like the standard frustration, more than like pure rage in his heart kind of thing. Um, yeah, he suffered loss of seeing Ichigo be, Ichigo, uh, Yusuke be killed, you know, you can't even trade poorly. But I just don't think rage works because those come from different motivators of love of that person. Like, he loves Yusuke as, like, a brother kind of way. Uh, and Yukina, he's just in love with. And that's the thing. He, I think a lot of what, what he does comes from love. Love of his friends, love of his family, love for Yukina, who, God knows if she ever did reciprocate that. Um, you know, not, nothing wrong if she didn't. It's just, you know, you're now simping for someone in <laughs> Kuwabara who is never going to show you the same type of love back. So just, just put it out there, Kuba. Um, but yeah, so it just comes down to green versus, uh, will versus love, green versus sapphire. In this circumstance, I actually would lean more towards love. I think Kubara is definitely more of a star sapphire than a green lantern. I still think he'd make a pretty decent green lantern, making any, uh, but I think he works a little bit better as a star sapphire, ultimately. Uh, that is just my opinion, though. This was a short one, because I quickly came to the conclusion that there aren't a lot of options for Kuwabara. <laughs> um, I leave it to you, though. Do you think any of the other uh, nine could work uh, in, in any capacity? I mean, some of them on some level can work, certainly. There have been times where he's had shame, ultraviolet. There's been times where he's been really angry, rage. There's been times where he, where the fate, uh, where the hope of something, the fate of something has been placed on his shoulders. Faith. So there's definitely moments in the series where any one of the, maybe any one of the Lantern Corps could in theory work, but we're looking at the majority of his character 
over the overall time of the story. And those two seem to work the best. Would love edging out Will in this case. Again, though, this is just my opinion. Let me know in the comments below if you feel different. And if you do, what Lanta Core you think Kuwabara would belong to. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, though. And I'll see you folks for the next one.